You want to have a super spooky Halloween? Well, boy, oh boy, do we have the video for you. Today, we're going to be playing a little bit of World of Horror. Really fun 2D style, uh, one or two bit, um, style horror game. I've played through this once or twice. Um, the premise is pretty simple. Something strange is happening in our town. Think Stranger Things while you're playing this, but in the 1980s. Robed figures can be seen gathering in the woods at night. People are going missing. Disgusting creatures are terrorizing the seaside. The rapid... To oh, hello. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. The rapid technological progress of the modern era brings comfort, but also new unknown threats. Old gods, malicious eldritch beings who ruled the earth eons ago are awakening as reality starts to crumble. Armed with clues, spells, and your dwindling sanity, you'll investigate mysteries across the city and realms beyond. Nice. We're at the train stop, so this is our god, uh, Kathak Uterusu, is once again awakening from its slumber. Blinded by the impossible to satisfy hunger, it has started to tear down the walls of its cocoon prison. Stop it before it devours all. Old god rules, we can't escape from contact, or from combat. Pretty easy. This is our young lady. Um, strength is how much damage we do in combat. Dex is how quick we are and also how much we dodge. Perception is like finding clues, other checks like that. Knowledge is the opposite of strength. It's puzzle solving and charisma is used to gain followers and also for skill checks. Funds are the four. We've got all of this other stuff here. Oh wow, we have regen. This is a spell, I would assume, so we can cast the spell, or we can forget the spell for reason, but plus four stamina at the cost of two reason. So stamina is how much health we have, reason is our sanity. If either of those reach zero, we die, but that means we can take a lot of sanity hits, um, or sorry, stamina hits to kind of go through our reason. Lighthouse is over here. Once we have solved all the puzzles, we can go to the lighthouse and hopefully solve the mystery. Letterbox, super spookums. There's definitely somebody in here. Here's us. Wow, wow, wow. We can change our outfit. I'm thinking mall worker, goth girl. Oh, it's gotta be goth girl, right? Heck yeah, with the little choker. I guess that doesn't update. Um, we're not gonna be a pervert, but taking a bath does actually heal us or give us a little bit of XP. So that's quite, quite useful. We can watch the TV to kind of know a little bit more about what's going on. We can look through the peephole at Satan. Let's never go outside. Um, we can also access our inventory. We have followers, all kinds of stuff. But let's get into the quest. A uh, bunch of bad things are happening. We have to solve five mysteries to stop the bad things. We have the bizarre brute of the blood-curdling botanist, chilling chronicle of the Crimson Cape, Tragic Tale of the Thaumaturgy Teacher. Far Out Fable of a Fear Festival. Wow, that sounds cool. Or The Sorrowful Saga of the Moonlight Sailors. Let's do the Far Out Fable of the Fear Festival. Heck yeah. We can also level up. Your aunt has sent you a letter inviting you for a curious sounding festival. Uh, inviting you to or inviting you for a? Huh. It's held every 27 years in a small village. You don't like the sound of it, but your parents both agree. You need a break from all the stress. Yeah. Inside the letter, there's a bus ticket. What's wrong? What's the worst thing that could happen? You ask yourself as you board the bus to the fear festival. Oh, I love that. Just when you thought your stomach couldn't handle it anymore, the janky old bus stops at its destination. You get up and take a deep breath before looking around. It's a small village and the nearby fields are surrounded by a thick forest. Um, whew, probably just walk away. Okay, cool. Your group's arrived in the village and is currently unpacking at the inn, giving you some time to explore. The festival begins in the evening. To progress this mystery, choose an action that will lead, that will advance the clock. As you learn more about the terrible secret of this village, more actions will unlock. Oh, gee louie. Okay, so we can check into the inn. That sounds pretty good. Well, why don't we do that first? The inn's room is dusty, like it hasn't seen visitors in years. You wonder if anyone's cleaned it in the last 27 or since the last festival 27 years ago. 
There's a folder of available activities lying on the table. Um, let's go to the Osan. Okay, cool. So that's where we'll heal. Nice. All right, let's go check out the village. Oh, but that would raise our doom. Okay, so we do have a doom counter. If this reaches 100, we die. Uh, we apparently have bullets, camera, a key, a squid god, uh, all kinds of stuff. Uh, let's not enjoy the festival. Let's go check out the field. You stand in the middle of a field, frozen in terror. A rip in reality shows the horrible future of our planet. Seeing the familiar figure looking back at you, you can't help but wonder if it's the world, if our world is just an illusion. Heck no. Well, we don't really want to lose sanity. I'm more okay with losing um, stamina. You and the figure get closer to the portal, ready to swap places. Where are you? Lost in time and space, you drift in nothingness until something pulls you towards light. Did we just die? Uh, <laughs> oh no. What the heck, where are we? The temperature abruptly drops and you shudder in icy cold. You find yourself in the middle of a snowy wasteland, a sudden gust filling you to your, or a sudden gust flings you to your knees. You inhale deeply, feeling your chest tighten and ache. Your fingers and ears are already numb and freezing. You have to move. Uh, well, let's not go towards the demon. Um, let's go to the icy coast. Perception check success. Sticking out of the ice, you find a hand of a nameless monarch, its fingers long and deformed. Feeling the strange urge, you kneel and kiss it. One of the rings falls to the ground. We have an ancient ring. Plus one strength, plus five percent doom. Well, we gotta wear it, right? Yeah! Resolve the event. Nice! It's day one night. Um, I don't really want to go out at night, but I feel like there could be some spooky stuff. So our strength did actually drop from that. That's not great. Let's go enjoy the festival. There's still some time before the festival starts. The locals are seemingly busy starting up the stands, and a few stands are already open, but you can't shake the feeling of something is weird. It's getting late. Buy souvenirs. Look for friends. Uh, why don't we look for friends? You stumble into your friend, Mustafi. Hey, I'm trying to solve this puzzle. Can you help? Yeah. Okay, so now we have this guy on our team. Plus one damage against ghosts. Cool. Uh, it did cost us some reason, but that's okay. A weird sound wakes you. You step closer to the window and look out. You can't see anything and get ready to go back to bed when suddenly the moon comes out from behind the thick clouds. Three hooded figures are standing on the forest edge. One by one, they light their torches and disappear behind the trees. What was that about? Yeah, who are they? The weird... Uh... They all wore strange masks. Should you follow them into the forest or try and find out more information about the festival? Hmm... A good question. Hmm. Well, let's have a quick rest. Uh, relax a bit. Plus one reason, plus one stamina. Yeah, it costs us a little bit of doom, but that's okay. We're only at 10% doom. Hey! It's our little ghost hunter! You discover an old campsite located at the edge of the small clearing. The tent has been knocked down, and the food and utensils have been scattered everywhere. Uh, search the tent? Oh, that seems dangerous. Yeah, let's search the tent. Oof! The sleeping bag has been torn to shreds. The amount of gore inside leaves no doubt about what happened to the owner. Oh, no. Well, let's take a look around the shrine. That's terrible. The trail to the abandoned shrine is overgrown and steep. However, it could be an important place to investigate. Oh, no. We're not very strong. Let's take the safe route. Taking the safe route costs you time, but you get to the top without incident. Burnt out candle wax and dried blood around the shrine mean a new sinister cult has claimed the location. 
Oh no. Going back to the inn, you overhear two masked villagers. They're talking about something awakening at dawn. You wonder what's up with that. Yeah, it's not safe here. You decide to block the entrance to your room with a nightstand. The festival is ending tomorrow, and you can't be too careful. Oh no. Well, let's do one more look at the festival. Our master's coming and we can all bask in its glory. Oh my god, it's a magician. He gives plus one doom. Uh, Alright, so our goal is to kick the crap out of him. Prepare for battle! Um, we don't really have a weapon. So let's take a look see if we can't find one. Pick up an improvised weapon and then just beat the ever-living tar out of this guy. Um, has an 80% chance to hit, so why don't we make that a 90% chance to hit? Yeah. In fact, we can make it a 95% chance to hit. Nice. We picked up a tree branch. He gave us some doom. That's not great. But we can pick this up one-handed. It does three damage. And now we can just really try and wail on this guy. Uh, okay, not great. But we can prep the attacks and maybe hit him. Pow. Pow. So that's potentially six damage. That sounds good to me. Uh, it's going to take a little while, but luckily this guy doesn't give too much doom. Just really kick the crap out of him. Not good overall. Man, this guy is actually surviving quite well. That's frustrating. Alright, try and give him the business a bit better. Two more. Pow. Pow. Alright, take him out. Nicely done. Take that, magician, you nerd. Raising our doom. We don't want that. The weird sound coming from the keep you up at night. What could it all mean? Uh, I think this is the last day of the festival. Let's explore the, fe the forest real quick and then go to the festival. Walking through the tree nursery, you suddenly stop, feeling off. Isn't it too early for the leaves to change the color? Before you continue, someone grabs your leg. Oh my god, it's a bark woman. Minus one damage to all. That's honestly not too bad, but let's try and dodge out the way. And we'll give her a good clubbing. See if we can't... Actually... Can we... No, okay. Give her just a resounding thwack. Go for it. We dodge. And we missed. And she missed. Perfect. We'll see if this works out. Pow, pow, pow. Pretty unlikely to miss. We missed again. Huh, I wonder if we can't hit her with a tree branch. Strength based. Let's see, we need a weapon that's dex based. Like a knife. That would be pretty good. We're gonna try this one more time. Oh, is she a ghost? Is that why we're missing her? Hold on, what are you? Let's, let's take a look at what the heck you are. Um, brace for impact? No. Isn't there... Yeah, let's spy on you. What are you? And we'll dodge again. You dodge the tech. She has chopped pieces burned into... The tree nursery causes nearby leaves to change the color. Okay. Um, plant that's weak to fire. We don't have any fire. Um, hmm. I guess we've just been unlucky. Maybe, maybe. Dodge it up. Okay, I don't think we can hit her with the thing. Let's just try kicking her. Okay, that does work. Yeah, I guess we can't hit her with a tree branch. All right. Oh, this isn't too bad. Took a little while, but we got there. 
She's slowly giving us the business, but we're giving it back. Nicely done. Two more. Ow. Oh. Let's just do this. Eh, it feels pretty safe. <laughs> Nicely done! Bark Woman goes down! Did we get anything? No. Alrighty. Okay. Is that blood? Where is everybody? Don't. Today's goal, find the missing people. A trail of blood and sickly smelling sludge leads to the outskirts of town. Somewhere in the dark forest, there's an answer waiting for you. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, let's take a quick rest. Get our stats up slightly. Plus three doom. Okay, let's not do that again. Um, following the trail of rotten fruit, you stumble across a small shrine. That's probably dedicated to some local spirit. Um, let's pray. Oof! Perception failure. Oh, no. Our perception's pretty good, too. So the way this works is that we roll against the d12. So we have, like, a two-thirds chance. Um, I figured our strength was not very good, though. Minus two reason. Ouch. We wanted to keep our reason nice and high. Let's keep exploring. Hello? It's said that a famous priest died on this rocks. Perhaps his mysticism has seeped into it. Uh, tap into his power. Yeah, knowledge check. Success. Touching it with your hand, you feel newfound knowledge forming in your mind. Plus one spell. Okay. Abolish. Uh, lowers eldritch enemy damage by one. Costs three stamina. Oof. Okay, well, if we run into a crazy eldritch monster, that could be good. While wandering through the woods, you discover strange carvings on one of the trees. And by the look of them, they were made recently. Could they be connected to the current mysteries? Oh, we don't have a camera. Oh, come on! Our friend definitely has a camera. Look, he's got a camera. Hey, bud. Uh, at least the weather is nice. You little shafid. Use your camera, you nerd. Well, good luck. Oh, hey, knowledge check success. You're certain that the missing people were here. You are on the right trail. Man, can we level up? Not quite. All right, this is it. Enter the overgrown factory. While exploring the factory, you're caught by masked people you've seen at the inn's, seen from the inn's window. After tying you up, they bring you to the cult leader. We knew you'd come. You hear a raspy voice. Your aunt's voice? <laughs> Coming from behind the priest's mask. She signals towards the door behind him. Our master is waiting for the final blood sacrifice. Oh, so we didn't solve whatever mystery was here, I guess, which would give us that ability. Struggle! Oh, oh no. Um, we are super dead. Let's go this way. Oh god, they're beating me. Oh my lord. Oh! oh! <laughs> Did we just die? Hello? Oh my god. Uh, with a loud bang, the ancient horror disappears, and, a, and the high priest falls to the floor, grabbing their shoulder. The last thing you see before blacking out are beams and flashlights, and the hand of a police officer saving you from falling. Hey! Later that day, detectives interrogating you are confused when you tell them about a ritual blood and eldritch being. The village is abandoned, with no trace of blood anywhere. Uh, you are the only one seeing... The ancient horror? What? Did we win? Uh, while you couldn't catch the leader of the cult to interrogate them, the people are safe. You board the old brus, wondering what would happen if you didn't stop the ritual in time. I didn't do that. Somebody did that. Somebody shot that guy. Uh, well, we, we got 30 experience, a thorough investigation, plus 15 experience, uh, minus some doom, and we passed the day. We're kind of beat up. Um, oh no. Um, the friendly... The closed door. The friendly dog disappeared last night. You'll have to find a new place to buy equipment. Oh no. 
So normally we'd be able to buy equipment, but I guess we can't anymore. That's terrible. Well, let's have a quick bath. Uh, we haven't quite leveled. It's a shame. Actually, let's get a small XP boost. Nice, so we can level up. And this allows us to pick a cool stat. Ooh. Uh, plus one dex. There's always a way out of seemingly hopeless situations. That sounds good. Plus one knowledge. Knowledge of various rituals and myths. I feel like we already have that. Outdoorsman. Plus one luck. What is our luck? Uh, where's our attribute? Stats? I don't know which one's luck. Um, let's grab this dex, though. Just so that we can kind of level that up. And let's boost our strength a little bit. Nice. Okay. We're feeling a little bit better there. I don't suppose we can take another bath. No. But hey, that's good. We're a little bit better. We need to work on our reasoning. How's it going out here? Stay strong, little nerd. And we have our bonsai tree. Nice. Let's see what's our, our next mystery. So I guess we solved that, kind of. We could do the moonlights. We could go to the school. We could go to the cape. We could do some botanists. I've had enough of the forest. Let's go to the cape. The Chilling Chronicles of the Crimson Cave. A new game is spreading among your friends. A dare to stay in the unused school restroom after classes. A dare to meet Akamanto. Okay. The originally harmless fun has turned deadly. The body of a boy was found last week. Oh, jeez. The school principal has banned the game. But that's only made it more popular. Akamanto must be stopped before another kid is killed. Yeah. To advance this mystery, investigate the circled location. As you progress, the location and rules may change. Nice. One of your friends says that he doesn't believe in curses, and he intends to complete the dangerous dare. Don't do that. Uh, and I guess we need to gather gossip about the current mystery. Let's go to the school. So we can actually go to the schoolyard here to learn gossip and recruit allies. So why don't we do that? Hey. Uh, what's the latest gossip? When Akamato asks which paper you want, you must refuse everything. Oh, thank you. Okay. Hey you, what's the latest gossip? Recently the tap water in the entire neighborhood has started tasting weird. Almost like it's pee. How about you? If Ooh doesn't make those drawings, then who did? Who's Ooh? Do you want to be our friend? No. How about you? No. How about you? Nice! Student E, minus one knowledge. Get the heck out of here, you nerd. And we can also try and force them to help us, but that's okay. Who's that? Nice. Well, we did the thing. You've heard some versions of the legend. Everyone agrees. You can't take anything that the man offers you, though. You got it. I won't. Let's investigate the school. We have to be careful of our doom. You hear a faint sound while walking outside the biology classroom. Inside... An old autonomy model, it's heart beating. The sight almost makes you sick. Ugh, god, that would be gross. Ouch, minus one stamina. You, you've reported it to your principal, who promises he will take care of it. With your friends safe for now, you should look into the legend. Maybe records in the city's library will make mention of Akamoto. Let's do it. We're going downtown. <laughs> With our little Ghostbuster buddy. The road seems to twist and turn when you're not looking, trapping you in the neighborhood. Ah, oh, crap. Get lost! Uh, you spend hours trying to find your way out. Finally, completely exhausted, you end up in the main street as the passage to the blighted neighborhood slowly closes behind you. Ouch. That's a lot of doom. You read a story about a vengeful samurai, known for wearing a crimson cape. It's an interesting find, for sure, but you need to find more information. To the school! Now, unfortunately, we can't buy stuff. Kind of stinks. What's going on, my man? Uh, suddenly, everything slows to a crawl. Oh, it's a time warper. Minus one to all. Ouch. It's got ten power. The stat defines your chance to attack the enemy successfully. The higher its power, the harder it will be. Currently, you have minus ten percent chance. All right. Well, our standard attack. Let's do it. Oh, but I guess we can actually hit him with the tree branch this time? I think it's better just to try and kick him. 
Oh, maybe he's a little tricksy. We'll find out. Launch. Good job. He does hit us back, though. We'll eventually kill him this way. We'll see you guys in a moment. Nice! There we go. Finally! Uh, that was a lot of dodging and madness, but we did kill him. Uh, we're pretty beat up. Not great. One of the articles mentions a young doctor who performed a life-saging surgery on a victim of a brutal assault. The assault happened in a toilet stall. Maybe he's still working at the hospital and can share some information. Please. To the hospital. Uh, we don't have any injuries worth healing. We're just hurt. Uh, so let's just investigate. So you can accrue injuries as well, like a broken jaw or slashed up hand. And that's not good. You find yourself in an old, unused part of the hospital. You take a deep breath. The disgusting smell of thawed remains still lingers in the room. Ugh. It's used to be the hospital's mortuary, where doctors determine the causes of death. Um, well, we have good perception. Pull the clothes off the dissection table. That sounds like a terrible idea. Uh, search the cabinet or check out the freezer. Let's look through the cabinet. Oh, perception failure. Something flashes in the corner of the dusty drawer. Too late, you realize the rusty scalpel blade and you cut yourself badly. Oh, no. Minus two stam. Uh, you learn that the doctor left the hospital suddenly after the latest murder, taking all the records with him. Why would he do that? That's not the only bad news. Your friend didn't come home from school today, and another body was supposedly found. Oh, no. Jeez, and we're all cut up. Um, let's investigate the school. Jeez, can we get, like, some healing or something? I don't suppose we can go home. No. Hardware shop. Oh, we can go to the hardware shop. Uh... Ooh. Yeah, hey, do you guys have, like... Oh. Wow. You guys actually have some good stuff. There's a trinket. Which hurts eldritch enemies. A crowbar. It's two-handed. Based on strength. Do we have anything that's based on dex? No. And we don't have a Yakuza card. Well, I'll take this, um... I'll take this thing. Thanks. Alright, let's give it a go. This is not looking great. The quarter is flooded by black sludge that's slowly oozing from underneath the door. And the chemistry classroom, a damp, moldy stench grows as you get closer. How are you going to get to the other side? Uh, go through it. Wog. Oh my god, our perceptions failed every time. You're too late uh, to keep something from biting your ankle. It's not bleeding badly, but you worry about infection, and the black sludge gets into the wound. Oh no. We have some tiny cuts and frostbite. Oh crap. Um, well, that's what's hurting us this whole time. Hold on. Let me go to the hospital real quick. Darn it. When I was already there, I could have done that. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, you wait patiently for the doctor. Hey, bud. The emergency department is crowded as a difficult result of the weird things happening right now. You finally are asked from the doctor's office. Now, how can I help you today? Uh, please cure this. Plus one fun. Thank you. Strength is back a little bit. Ooh, and I can steal your painkillers. Nice. Addictive medicine. Used to get plus two stamina. I will take it right now. Thank you. Can I steal any more of your stuff? Oh. You feel like the skull is observing your every move. Gimme. Alright. Well, we're a little bit healthier. To downtown. Gee Louie, this is getting tough! Walking through the park, you find a little girl crying alone in the playground. When you ask what's wrong, she says that she can't find her mommy. Luckily, you spot the girl's uh, address on the backpack nearby. Uh, yeah, let's take her home. Oh, Jesus. You offer to take her home, and when you get there, the terrified mother slams the door in your face. From the heart behind the door, she starts screaming to get the, uh, to get the girl up away. The girl calmly tells you that she can take it from here. What? 
Oh, she's like a monster. Well, we got some XP. Uh, we're pretty far from leveling, but we're almost there. You break the window and get inside the school unnoticed. The cursed toilet is located on the third floor. Get over there! To the toilet! Hurry! Putting your hand in the hole was a bad idea. Seeing the spider escape, you hope it wasn't poisonous. What the heck? We got a spider bite? Gee Louie. There's no turning back now. You step into the last stall and close the door behind you. Jesus. You wait in the stall, trying to be quiet as possible. Suddenly, squish, squeak. You hear the sound of rubber boots as an unknown lid liquid drops on the tile. Squish, squeak. You can hear, you can see the top of his head. He's taller than any man you've ever seen. Squish, squeak. The door opens slowly. Prepare yourself. A man dressed in a red coat, clearly too tall for the ceiling, emerges from outside. Uh, tell me. His voice sounds like a faulty radio. Would you like red paper or blue paper? I want nothing! It gets darker. The tall man in the red coat slowly takes off their mask. Uh, as the stall walls wither and rot, reality starts to crumble. Oh my god. 33 HP, minus 2 to all, power 30. Oh my word. Um, okay. Well, is he Eldritch? Let's find out. Take a look-see at him. And then let's dodge away. Can we do anything else? No. Launch. Ouch. He's choking me. Something doesn't feel right. He is Eldritch. He's weak against magic. Perfect. Um, okay, let's magic it up then. Spell. Oh, and we have our, our item as well. Can of Acid. Deal seven damage to Eldritch enemies. Use. Take that, Akito. And then we're going to abolish you. Lowers enemy damage by one. Cost three stamina. Oh, that's basically going to kill us. Uh, if we do this, we die in three turns. If we don't do it, we die in three turns. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, you prepare your dodge. Something doesn't feel right. Oh my god. Are we ever going to be able to dodge him? We can't kill him in time. If we're not dodging. So yeah, we're going to have to dodge. Dodge and fight. Oh my god, true form. Crazy. Hit him with the branch. Can we make sure we hit him with the branch? Yeah. Launch. Pow. All right, we dodged. Where are you? We're here. In the Elder Maze or whatever. Oh, we could abolish. Yeah, let's abolish him. This is dangerous. Then we do this to regain stamina. There we are. That buys us a bit of time. Okay, dodge. And then I guess we just try and kick the crap out of him. Go. Ouch. We got four turns. Keep dodging, girl. We don't really have any attack. Oh, wait a minute. Can we just use the spell on him again to make him not hurt us? I don't know if this will work. Oh, maybe not. Spells. Abolish. No, it won't let us. Additional barriers won't help. Okay. Whatever. We tried. Get him. Oh, yeah. We're dodging away. Look at us go. You can't hurt us. You nerd. I'm going to take you out, Akito. Yeah. We got this in the bag. I was terrified at first, but we're just going to kick this ghost to death. Oh, God. He stabs you. Oh, my gosh. Well, luckily, he doesn't stab very hard. You've got another round of life left in you. Do your worst. Oh, we got this. We could potentially just kick him to death right here. Ah, oh, take that. Oh, we are so close to dead. Plus 15 experience points. We get a little bit back. 
When you wake up, you find yourself back in the toilet stall. Thinking it was all a dream, you stand up only to hear the crack from under your shoe. There lies a broken crimson mask. Akito Makoto might return one day, but now you know that ancient horrors can be defeated. Wow. Um, we actually did that pretty quickly. Knowledge is key, plus 30 XP, plus 15 XP. There's still hope, minus 3 doom. A little bit. Nice. Oh my god, now what's happening? There's something wrong with the tap water. Oh yeah. It's black and oily and glistening, smelling like death. You hope it's just a temporary issue. Does this mean we can't shower? Uh, take the key. Jeez. Let's have a quick rinse. They're... They still didn't fix the water. It's black and oily and disgusting. There's no way you're going to wash in that. Crap. Oh, they're really gimping us. Um, oof. Oh, no. There's no nothing else we can do, huh? Friend? Oh, hello. Wait a minute. Who was that? <laughs> okay. There's a drawer here. Oh, there was a bottle in it. What about this? Nothing here. I didn't know that this room had interactions in it. Is there anything over here? No. Okay, we're not doing great. Reason real bad, but we do have an empty bottle. Um, let's go take a look at... Uh, we've got, what, two left to do? Let's take a look at the Sorrowful Saga of the Moonlight Sailors. It began with one fisherman who dragged something truly awful from the belly of the ocean. A dark, whirring ooze, or writhing ooze, that mesmerized him beyond control. He hid himself away for a week, adoring it. Ugh. Not to be seen until one moonlit night when a young girl spotted his boat drifting away. A single lantern swinging at the helm and the captivated fisherman singing eerily to his catch. No more... Excuse me. No more... And, oh, three, two, one. Now, more and more fishermen have begun to find the vile ooze in their nets. Uh, and one by one, they are disappearing. Soon the ocean will take them all. Just stop fishing! That's probably like a toxic oil spill or something. You gotta stop. Oh, Christ. So we're out of cash, basically, and we're super dead. Not great. You start your investigation hoping to overhear some rumors at the fish market. Discard two item cards to complete this quest. I don't really know what the quests are doing. Uh, let's take a look. Hopefully we get some health and stuff back. Uh, the investigation is starting to take a toll on your health, but you feel you're about to fall asleep standing up. How would you address your weakened state? Uh, I did, I'd take a nap. Nice. The world may be falling apart, but you really needed that. Okay, hey, that's, that's something. Little bit of doom, no issue. We're actually ahead on the doom counter. Although you braved the stench for hours, you glean nothing besides the fact that the fisherman had a wife. Perhaps you should pay her a visit. Perhaps we shall. Let's go take a look. Howdy hey. The path is blocked by a rotting corpse covered in poison ivy. Oh no, minus two stamina. She's got a ton of HP too. I'm guessing she's a plant and weak to knives and fire, which we don't have either of, so. Standard attack protocol. Kick the crap out of her. Launch. Pow. Pow. Ow. Oh, that wasn't great. Well, we have the potential to do five damage a shot. So we could... Oh. Oh, we could just die here. No, please. Please, no. Let's get her. We have to survive this. Oh, we dodged. Okay. There's a chance. We have to dodge a lot more. Whipper. Oh, we're so dead. Uh, you'll die at the beginning of the next combat encounter. What if instead we regenerate? Pow. We're back up. You feel your wounds slowly closing. That's right. We can fight another couple of rounds. We know what's going on here. And you'll never break our spirit. We dodged. Okay. 
Uh, the whole... This could potentially kill her. Nice. Oh, we did it! Oh, you gain a new level. Press the flashing button. I will. Oh, jeez. Okay. We need reason. Ghostly connection. Uh, completing a mystery grants a random spell. No, thank you. Plus one charisma. Natural ability to guide others. No, thank you. Uh, I want something that raises sanity. So I'm actually going to re-roll this. Outdoorsman. Plus one luck. Forgetting spells regains extra reason. Oh. Um, I might do that and just buff our sanity because we could get rid of Abolish here. Um, and this would buff up our reason a bit. Yes. So then... Actually, how are we doing? Did that, like, bite or anything actually come of anything? Uh, hopefully it will go away. And they seem fine as well. Okay. Well, Abolish, we kind of want to get rid of you. So let's do it. This should give us two reason. Nice. And then we can regen. Back up to eight and six. It's not great. Don't get me wrong. It's not great, but it's okay. We're making it work. We'll go to the mansion. When you first arrived at the fisherman's house, it stands long vacated. Peering through the dusty window, you recoil in shock. Oh no. My little ghost hunter boy is not super helpful. Corpses are strung up on a wire like macabre marionettes with painted smiles and rosy cheeks. Oh, our stamina. Oh, our stamina. It's, a, it's the mansion at night. Oh, Christ. The fisherman lies... Uh, the fisherman's wife lies in the kitchen, mutilated and covered in black marks. Oh, God. Can I... Can I help? Can I, like, bury her or something? Jeez. <laughs> Feeling like you're on the brink of losing your mind, you decide to visit your parents' old friend, Father Yasugi. Hey, kiddo, says the priest who's currently moving some boxes out of the church building. Could you lend me a hand? Oh, well, actually, we're pretty strong now. Lift the heaviest box. Oof. Kind of worth it. Lifting the heaviest box, you feel your back cracking, but you manage to get it over relatively quickly. Afterwards, Father Yasugi invites you inside for a hot cup of tea and home-baked cookies. Made by one of the parishioners. You explain to him your situation. The priest listens, letting you vent all your doubts and anxiety. Minus the stamina, but plus three reason. Good enough. Surely someone else must have caught... Must have caught one of those... One of these? I don't know. You look around, hop, hopping to... Three, two, one. Surely someone else must have caught one of these. You lurk around, hoping to spot one of them. I guess... One of the evil, gross things. Um, we don't have any money, so to the hardware store, not super useful. Something pulls you towards the beach. A statue half buried in the sand is calling you. F feeling your hand shaking, you take a step closer. So this is actually black. I think that means we can ignore it. Ignore it. Oh no. Uh, the sudden wave of dread paralyzes you as you stare at the menacing statue. You managed to escape, but its gaze is forever burned into your brain, plus a curse. The curse of panic. 10% chance to succeed on any combat action that has a base chance to hit. Oh no. That's terrible. A young man has a glassy has glassy eyes and mumbles his replies as he catches or as he caresses his catch. The beating movements of his arm disturbs you. He's just like beating the crap out of his fish. Oh, no. That's not good. I hate that curse, by the way. Walking on the beach, you spot a weirdly colored rock. It seems to be covered in some kind of black algae. Getting closer, you, you realize it's not a rock. Oh, my God. Um, minus two reason. Ooh. All right. Let's take a quick look at this guy. And then let's just dodge. Let's see what happens. Uh, oh, that was meditate. Crap. I dodged the attack. That's good enough. Dodge again. Now let's look at this bad boy. And then let's dodge again. 
I think he's a ghost. Or Eldritch. The sponge uh, attacks you. It's a monster that's weak against fire. Okay. Well, I wasted a lot of time doing that, but such is life. Let's just try and kill it. Oh, and because we're wounded, I think this is taking more time now. Not great. Not great at all. Just try and kill it. Well, slowly power through this. Um, I have to protect my reason. Pow. Pow. Oh, we're missing everything. Oh, it's so bad. No. Oh, no. We're not doing great. Come on. It's going to take forever. I don't know any better way of doing this, though. Oh, my God. We're so dead. I don't have any way of raising my reason. I don't think. Wait a minute. Pow. We're back in it. Oh, it's not good. Oh, crap. Just try and... Try and take it out with us. I don't think I can do anything else. Empty bottle. Store liquids. Throw it! Um, I'm assuming we're like super dead. Yeah! And that's that! Happy Halloween, everybody! That encounter was the final straw. Your mind has snapped and you've been locked up in an asylum. It would be comforting to accept that you are insane. That no old god is awakening to devour humanity. But the drugs haven't made the horrors disappear. <gasps> Woo! Spooky! We'll see you guys in the next one.